And a familiar face. Record is held by Mr. Randy at six minutes, 58 seconds. And here is their six pan burrito challenge, little logo. They also have a spicy taco challenge. Hey everyone, real quick, hope you're having a lovely day and I wanna thank Smart today's video being Surfshark VPN. So Surfshark VPN, a virtual private network helping keep you safe on the internet. Yes, that is right. You are keeping your data safe from being stolen from those bad individuals out there on the web. Of course, it is on limited devices, so I can use it on my phones, I can use it on my computer, you can even use it on like your Xbox, you can also share it with your family, your friends. Depending where you are, The Mandalorian just came out, so if you want Disney Plus and you live in a place where you can't get Disney Plus, you can use it to access country restricted data. There is also a money back guarantee Yes, that is right. So you can actually try out Surfshark, and if you don't like it, you can get your money back. That's pretty cool. Uh, right now, of course, you can get 83% off and three months free. That is right. What a sweet deal. 83% off and three months free, everybody, just by using that code Joel H. Yes, that is right. Joel H. So everybody head to Surfshark VPN. Check out the links down below. Go save yourself some hassle by saving and protecting your data on the internet. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, everybody, Surfshark. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here from this man of Huang. And today we are on our way to El Charros or something like that, I believe. Uh, it is a Mexican restaurant in Coffeyville, Kansas. So we're going to their six pound burrito challenge. So for this challenge, we have 45 minutes to eat their six pound burrito. Um, I don't know if there's a record or anything, but we will find out that information. Uh, so yeah, 45 minutes, six pound burrito. I know it has chicken, it has beef in it, it has beans and sour cream and lettuce and tomatoes, etc. It is a wet burrito, so there's also some kind of a sauce on it, I believe. Um, and then there's like tortilla chips sticking out of it. So it looks really good, should be a lot of fun. So yeah, we'll go figure it out. Um, if we fail, I think it's like maybe 30 bucks, 25, 30 bucks. So yeah, let's have some fun. All right, everyone, so here we are with the six pound Azteca burrito. Reina, ready for some burritos? Looks really good. My hair is already up. I come ready to rock and roll. Uh, so we got 45 minutes. It looks good. All kinds of ingredients. So uh, yeah, Reyna, yeah. ready to get started? Yeah. All right, we have the restaurant here to do our time. So how do we start? Let's say at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Cheers. Thank you. Some chips. Yeah, that's where I was going to go. I might get messy. Um, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's going to be all over the place. Basically everything just fell out of the wrap, so. I basically have a burrito bowl. I thought it was a spoon. Oh, I just spilled sauce all over me. Oh. 
Thank you. Do what? Die hängen alles klar, muss ich da vorne. I'm just gonna be covered in burrito. I'll just accept it now. I'm just gonna use my hand. Note to self, next time you do a burrito challenge, bring a spoon. Gotta leave no doubt. And we're done. Probably thirty-nine fifty-seven. Thirty-nine fifty-seven. What you guys have left? Okay, so about five minutes. Five oh eight seventy-six. Perfect. So we did get a new record inadvertently. Uh, very very delicious, nice and moist. Rain is just finishing up right now. Definitely need a spoon for that thing. But yeah, it was delicious. And Raina finished as well. So good job. Excuse me. So we both beat the old record of Mr. Good Old Randy Santel. So with that, we get the meals for free. Pretty dang cool. Uh, just over, yeah, like. About five minutes. Just over five minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was good. It was delicious, yes. Poor Randy, yeah. Oh, uh, we, we can send him a message if you want. We'll send him a message to him. We, we actually know Randy, so we'll shoot him a message to tell him he, uh, he lost his record. But uh, no, it's getting super delicious. Huge thanks to all the staff here. Oh. oh. <laughs> so with that, everybody, until next time, stay happy, really hungry, happy eating. Hope you enjoyed. Maybe we'll get some dessert now. And uh, that, I have a lovely life. Huh? I think it looks oh, great. It looks beautiful. Thank you. I like it. What's for dessert, churro? Oh wow! Oh god, don't... you too? Can we get churros? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Well, do you, do you want churros? Oh, I want churros. Apparently, apparently, Reina wants churros. So, all right. Well, we'll explore dessert options. Maybe we'll be back. All right. Here we have dessert. So I think this is a deep fried cheesecake, if I'm not mistaken. Then we have deep fried ice cream, which looks and sounds very good. And then we have some sopapillas, which are basically fried dough. I've never actually had some sopapillas before, so let's eat and try. I'm going to start with the ice cream because it looks like it's half melting. Got a good, yeah, got like a crunchy coating. 
Some kind of sauce, whipped cream chocolate. Okay, I dig. And the sopapilla. It smells like cinnamon and sugar. I like exactly this. Cinnamon sugar fried dough. This is good. It is good. And a shell. Fried shell with churro, churro flavor shell. Sure, and, um, and there's this. I'm just gonna bite it. Is it savory inside? Very interesting. This is savory, that's why I didn't expect that. I like this ice cream. Switch it over really quick. Mm -hmm. Throw on the silver pia. Mm -hmm. Also eat the um, ice cream. So these look good. Yeah, they are good. I do. Mmm, very warm. There we go. I got to try some desserts. So uh, hope you enjoyed it, buddy. Until next time, be sure to give that thing a like, subscribe. We're heading back down to Oklahoma. Hell right. And then Texas. Hell right. <laughs>everybody here with Miss Reina Huang. We're in Oklahoma City. We just went really really dark there at the My Raid Botanical Garden. So nice to get out see some stuff here locally. Uh, I got my good old drink. I love these freaking drinks. That's gas station. yeah my gas station drinks are probably one of my biz biggest expenses when I'm on the road. Not really. But uh, yeah so we'll show you some gardens and beautiful stuff and let's have some fun. On this beautiful morning, yeah, you can't beat this. Oh, look, there's a squirrel. Maybe I'll even show you some Oklahoma squirrels here. It's totally overrated, or sorry, underrated. People are bugs, though. Yeah. People are always like, and look at this. So we have this like bevel, this indent, going down here, path this going all the way down. Get some uh, water down there, and let's go show you that. Some ducks and what. This is like the perfect time in the morning too. And it's pretty much really close to downtown. We're also gonna check out Bricktown after, which is like, I guess a downtown core. Here's some Oklahoma squirrels. Those are little black Oklahoma squirrels. There's another hairier Oklahoma squirrel over there. Weird looking squirrels out here in Oklahoma. Oh wow, that's koi. a big koi fish. Yeah. Multiple fish. Quackers. <laughs> Lots of quackers everywhere. This is beautiful with the sun coming up, glistening through the trees. Smile. <laughs> I'll pose for a actual picture. Look at this, this is a really cool setup. Big thingy thing there and lots of quackers over there. Let's go investigate all the other quackers. Here's an army of quackers. Bomb 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 ba bomb bomb ba bomb 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 
And so I need the Imperial March of these ducks. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. They're so bum. loud. Yeah. They know how to talk. Saying like, what's up? What's up, Foo? What's up, G? Like all the fish. Look at these white ducks. Do the ducks eat the fish? Oh, no, nah, they won't eat the fish. Look, the fish think we're going to feed them. They're crowding around us. That's pretty dang cool. Lots of quackers here this morning. They're all heading south, like me. They're smart. They don't want to hang out in the cold. Wow, that guy's really big. Yeah, look, they're like, feed me. Like, why aren't you feeding us? I want to eat you. Wow, there is. Look at them. Look at all the one. They're coming from everywhere. Jeez, the freaking bees. They literally just think we're going to feed them. Well, we just attracted all the fish in the pond. Got a waterfall. Which goes down into our pond. All kinds of different plants and trees that are generally are marked. Here's thyme. You can eat it. Herb. Yeah, like the herb. You can eat it. Yeah, it smells like smells like thyme. Definitely oh, yeah. reminds me of Italian uh, pastas and spices. Yeah. Cool. Then there's green space and that thingy thing and these beautiful, this thingy thing. Big fountain. People try and take a picture, so I'm gonna wait till they take a picture. But yeah, that's a cool looking fountain. Overflowing. Yeah, probably. Actually, yeah. I'm, I guarantee, I feel like the, like the center lights up. Yeah. And I've seen that in like that building in pictures oh. at night. So I think it is well, one of the well-known buildings in Oklahoma City. Yeah, it's like an overflow. It's pretty cool looking. Okay, see. It's very, yeah, it's very beautiful. With like the sun, sun shining through all the trees and stuff. Yeah, I saw it mentioned something about fireflies. Chairs. Chair. Here's a big half rock, which is slowly dripping water. It's pretty though. Little ceremonial thingy thing. Oh look, why do fireflies glow? There you go. Oh, there you There's go. the answer right there. I was just trying to describe how fireflies light up to Reina, but so fireflies are lightning bugs are more than just a gorgeous spectacular nature. They're beneficial for backyards and ecosystems. Um, they are sensitive to environmental conditions. Oh, they eat uh, garden pests. Summer beetles, gay okay, garden. Why do they glow? So they glow to attract a mate. That's pretty cool. And then yes, so how they glow is inside their body, there's a chemical called luciferin. Um, it allows them to light up. And yeah, so it's the natural light production is called bioluminescence. Cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Why is it called Lucifer? Oh, uh, Lucifer means light in Latin. Oh. Lots of lily pads. Don't see any frogs though. Maybe next time. Or turtles or anything like that. But lots of cool plants, eh? And lots of, uh, lots of beautiful ponds and waterways and stuff. There is some, something producing air bubbles over there. Uh, they must have a little fountain. They must have a fountain over there. But yeah, some cool stuff. Pretty flowers. Pretty plants. Have you ever seen peacock? Yep. 
I saw, I saw when I went to go take pictures in the park. So I was like, I didn't know, I didn't know that peacock was just wild in the park in California. I didn't. I didn't wild in California. I knew there's some wild ones in Florida, um, but that's pretty cool. Cause you saw a wild one, right? It was in a park. I saw a couple, but I saw them in the wild. And they're that, actually that colorful. Just like close to your house? No, it was at a uh, big natural park. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They they are very colorful.